Hi, I'm Martin Tett, and for the first time I can actually say that I'm leader of Buckinghamshire Council because today is the 1st of April, uh, famous for two things. One, obviously, that everybody will know about, but uh, skipping over April Fool's Day, the most important thing from my point of view is that this is the go-live date for the new Buckinghamshire Council. Up until now, we've been doing this in a what's called shadow format. Uh, now we are completely aligned as one council from here on inwards. So what I want to do today was just say a little bit about how that's going to work for you, uh, particularly during this particular emergency. Um, and then also there's another couple of quick things I want to add at the end. So just in terms of what the new Buckinghamshire Council means, uh, anybody watching this will probably know that they used to be in the area of both the Buckinghamshire County Council as well and also one of the four district councils that used to cover Buckinghamshire. So if you're in the north, it was probably, probably Aylesbury Vale District Council. Um, in the west and southwest, it was probably Wickham District Council. And then more to the east, it was either Chilton District Council or South Bucks District Council. Now, all of those five councils have gone. Uh, what we have is a new streamlined council, the Buckinghamshire Council, responsible for delivering all of those services uh, across the entire county area down to residents and local businesses. So a much more easy and simple approach for most residents in terms of who to contact. There's one council um, and as far as the local democracy aspect goes, which is a question I have had asked of me um, in response to some of these uh, these video blogs, uh, it's really easy. Obviously, we can't hold elections at the moment as we would normally have done, but all your existing councillors still are there. They're going to be the democratic representation. So if you're working on anything to do with the current crisis, you want to know who to contact, or how to contact the council, go online, use the Buckinghamshire Council website from now on, or you can still click through the links on your old district council pages. Uh, that will take you through to the new site. You can find out who your councillors are uh, and you can contact with them any or contact them with any queries um, or requests for information that you have about how the council can help you or help you respond to the current crisis. We're there very much to help you as well as trying to maintain as much as business as usual as we can in the background to that. So having said that, I just want to mention a couple of other things quite quickly. Uh, if you happen to live in the former South Bucks District Council area, uh, there was a mistake, a human error, quite frankly, in the way in which the direct debits were set up yesterday. Um, the direct debit was set up for the 31st of March rather than the 1st of April. Uh, I just want to make an apology on behalf of the team concerned on that. Um, and if you have suffered any loss as a result of that, uh, please contact us and we'll sort that out for you. Uh, the other thing I just wanted to say was in terms of homeschool transport, uh, one of the issues we've had obviously is we are no longer transporting most children to school. Uh, anyone who's actually paid for homeschool transport up front and whose children are not currently taking advantage of it, please contact us and we will arrange a refund uh, from obviously the uh, end of the school transport that your child had uh, to the end of the term. So we'll make sure you get your money back on that which I think is only fair and reasonable. So that's a very quick update today. Um, what we hope to have tomorrow is somebody also coming on to do a double act with me, talking particularly about how you can stay mentally alert uh, in what a very stressful time. So um, I'll see you tomorrow. And again, keep safe, keep well.